you try to check it down that moment that moment that it all changed the moment that you forgot to wake up Hey, how you, how you guys doing? Hey, Kwame, how you, Kelly? So, I mean, I I'm, I guess I was, I caught up on this later. I remember screening uh, part of this for uh, Critics' Choice um, a little while back, but I watched the whole season and got to see, you know, some parts of season two, and I really love the show. You guys do an excellent job. So my first question is to you, well, actually to both of you, but I'll start with you, Kelly. I mean, you being born in Houston, you were kind of like outside of the, the actor Hollywood radar in Houston, um, like how how believable? I know this dream is always a, a you know a, a, a tough feat to accomplish, but how believable was it that you would actually become an actor and be in Hollywood coming from Houston? Um, it's still kind of surreal now, you know what I'm saying, and that I'm an actor from Houston. You know what I'm saying? With me being a kid. You know that loved football growing up. You know I lived, breathed, died football. You know what I'm saying. But honestly, I just try to thank God and um, stay focused and really work on my inner self and refine my acting tools. You know what I'm saying. Then with me being surrounded by such great people like Terrell Alvin McCraney, Lucian, uh, D. Harris Lawrence, Tanisha Zadell, the right in the entire writer room of the show, Kwame. You know what I'm saying. It just all helps me build my character as a man. And Kwame, I mean, when you look at your your resume, I mean, you had an interest in starting that I want to talk about soon, but I mean, you've been on some of the best shows in TV history. I mean, Snowfall, The Wire, Ray Donovan. So how do you, and now David makes a man, how do you, uh, how do you attribute your, your, your luck in casting the, into the right shows? I mean, I mean, first God, you know, uh, God, God puts you in the positions, you know, you're supposed to be in, you know, sometimes, you know, we want to book other things or we, we audition for things and we're like, man, I want to get this part. I want to get this part. And God's like, yo, just sit patient. I got you. Don't worry. I got something better coming for you. And so I, I definitely, you know, contribute that to, you know, to God and just, um, putting me in the right positions to book, like you say, to have that that great resume because without him, you know, I wouldn't wouldn't be wouldn't be able to do any of this. Worried about you though. Yeah. I mean, she right to be. I'm okay. I am. I'm okay. I would love for them to turn that AC up in here. I thought hospitals supposed to be cold. This kind of stress, ma, might not be good for you. I mean, chaos and boredom. What? I'm just saying. I just want to make sure you're good. I mean, this whole thing could be really triggering. Go home, David. Oh, uh, wait. Go home. You really bringing up me being an addict now? Right now? In case I, what, forgot? I remember every day that I wasn't there for y'all. It's on my heart. It's on my hands, David. I am sorry for those times, but for the record, I have been clean 15 years. One five. But you wouldn't remember that, because every time we celebrate something, you got work. Just go home, huh? <laughs> David, we have all changed, baby. We have me, your brother. It's you that's the same. And I, I know that's scary. You had to do a lot of growing up quick. But you got a chance here to see that the world has changed before it's too, honey, go on home. Go on home, David. Go find you some calm. This show, you guys do, a, a, especially in, in Young David, that, but I, I've seen, I guess, in Adult David also, y'all do a lot of cold switching. Especially when you go to, you go to school, you're, you're, you're wearing a different hat, you're trying to be, um, you know, the academy kids or whatever. Um, how much in life do you still have to do, like, some cold switching? I mean, even when calling customer service, you have to, like, try to sound, <laughs> you know, the way, like, how, how, how real is that for you just as, as Black men? Uh, absolutely. I, I think it's very real for me that I um, co-switch on a daily. You have to, to survive, I feel. You know what I'm saying? 
even sometimes to remain professional, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So it's like, um, and I feel like everybody does that in their uh, personal life. So I feel like whenever you get to see that um, on screen, it's amazing as well. Shout out to the writer's room for making that happen as well. And you get to see it in season two, so that's dope. Yeah, 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 definitely. I agree with him, one hundred percent. I mean, you can't. You it's is no way you can walk into a professional setting and talk the same way you talk to your homies when y'all. You know what I'm saying? Don't stuff. work like that. Yeah, they gonna get that job. It's not gonna happen. They're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, well, thank you for coming. <laughs> you got to go. so, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so I agree one hundred percent. We do it every day. Kwame, I mean, you, you, you came from. I know you went. You was in Atlanta and in New Jersey and then in Baltimore, but you were like kind of outside of the acting radar, it seemed like also working at Verizon and all this stuff. How did, you know, how did you just happen upon that one day wire uh, pickup um, day that you worked on that, that led to you being um, uh, a regular and, and a season and a half? Like how did that situation happen? And like the wire was always already popping and that's when Jamie was Jamie Hector became so you, you yeah. knew how how big the wire was did you yeah. did you think I want to do this like more than this one day when I did it or you just thought it was just going to be like a one day hookup gig it, I, I definitely once I did it wanted to do it more but I did just think it was a one day thing I thought it would just be a cool story I better tell my kids one day, be like, oh, you know, dad was on this show, The Wire. Let me show you my little part. You know what I'm saying? And that would be yeah. it. Yeah, you know, you can brag. I'm like, oh, because I had seen friends on the show prior to me getting it. And the same thing, they would have like one little line. They might have two lines. And I was like, oh, man, that'd be cool to do that. And then I got a phone call maybe like two weeks later. And they was like, how would you like to be a regular character on the show? And then that's kind of like when it like, kind of hit me was like oh man like I could do this for real and so yeah so I you know I didn't take my yeah. first acting class so I moved uh, so LA. so last question I mean oh word so you you you're a good mentor because you have a good story um last question I mean the show does, does a lot with mental health um and I, I I could obviously tell that Achilles that you got some type of background in and dancing and singing, because it, it seems like natural, your character seems like natural, <laughs> that, that's why. But I want to talk about the responsibility of friends. I mean, like, as a friend uh, to, to the other young guy in the academy, you had to hold his secrets and everything else. Like, do you feel that you've had to be responsible? How do I ask this? How, do, you, do you feel like friends, like, when there's not adults in the situation, everything else, that there's like a strong, there's a, there's a huge responsibility on peers when, when dealing with mental health or abuse or whatever else for you to be there for them in Absolutely. whatever type of way. I do think it's important that um, people have people, peers, friends they can go to like Saren, like a Miss Elijah in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? That they can refer to or go to whenever they're feeling uncomfortable or worried about something. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it, yeah, that's gonna be great. Like I said, and seeing Saren getting away from the toxic, you know, abusive household that he was in, you know what I'm saying? And to find, finding friendship, that's that's gonna be amazing in season two. Well, can't wait to everybody see David makes a man on uh, David makes a man on home for season two. Thank you guys for the time. I know your careers are gonna go, so I can't wait to see you guys on whatever you guys got coming up next and however many more seasons of uh, this show that, that you guys are able to make. Thanks for the time. Thank hey, you. Thank you for having us. Thank you.